Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today, I'm finally making the guide to the Hydra slash being a better pilot in GTA Online. Some of you guys have requested that I do this. I've offered to do it and I just haven't got around to it until today. So I'm looking forward to getting into this. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on three main things that can help to make you a better pilot in this game. The three things are maintaining a high altitude, understanding risk and reward in certain situations, and knowing when to go in for the kill and when to be patient. Let's get into it. I'm gonna be using a headhunter to demonstrate the targets that I'm gonna be going for in this video. So uh, this won't be against live players or anything like that. That would require GTA on PC to actually be playable. So we're going to get into the Hydra here and I'll see you guys in the air. The first point I want to make here is maintaining your altitude. As you guys can see, I am way up in the air. As a pilot, you're going to want to maintain your altitude as much as possible. Because as you guys can see, I can look all the way down and try to get a good idea of where this target is. So as you guys can see, I'm maintaining a pretty good altitude right now. This is a this is a pretty safe altitude to be at. Um, the only thing that can hit you at this height is sniper rifles. Homing launchers cannot reach this high. Um, the only thing you will have to worry about, like I just said, is sniper rifles. And typically, they won't be that much of a threat unless they have explosive rounds on the sniper, of course. So maintaining your altitude is very important. It allows you to dive bomb your enemies. You can generally get a pretty good idea of where they are. Like I can see this guy right now. And as you can see, I was able to kill him and pull up right away. And I'm back to a safe height already. Where basically I can only be hit by sniper rifles and I'm not too worried about it. This target is in the corner right where my cannon is pointing. So obviously this is a weird uh, angle to be in a jet at. Say that's a player that you're trying to kill right there. Obviously, you're not going to want to come in in hover mode because if you sit there in hover mode and try to spray him down, he can minigun you, he can snipe you, he can do all sorts of things. This is assuming that you're in the Hydra, by the way. So, if you're in a different plane, obviously, you wouldn't even have that option. But basically, with the Hydra, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in, if you can, from a higher angle like this, so that he's going to have a harder time aiming his minigun up at you. And then... You're going to basically want to dive bomb, but make sure you pull up early enough to not get killed here. Okay, so see, I got the target and I pull away instantly. As soon as I see that I've killed the person, you pull up. You do not want to hang out and wait around in the area where you kill them, because obviously they can shoot their minigun at you, they can snipe you, they can RPG you, they can homing rocket you, all of that stuff, right? So you're going to want to just get out of there as quickly as you possibly can. And then when I finally feel confident enough to go down and try to kill him, I've got lots of time. So I'm going to get back this way. I'm going to come like this. I can see him. Right there. So as a pilot, you're also going to want to make sure that you're coming in from a good angle. If you're coming in at an angle like I just was right there, it's not very good. Because obviously there's the hill there that's higher on the one side. And you might hit it. As you guys can see there though, I just dive bombed him. And I, as soon as I killed him, as soon as I got some shots on the target, I pulled up. That's the best way to do it, guys. You do not want to hang out down in that section there. The second thing I want to talk about is risk versus reward. This target here, who's in one of those warehouses down there, is obviously in a bit of a harder spot for me to hit. The Hydra is actually the easiest plane to use in a situation like this, and I'm going to make good use of hover mode. The Hydra does have that advantage. Hover mode can help out a lot. If I was in a regular plane, though, this is where the risk and reward comes into play. If he's sitting way back in that hangar, and I'm going to have to get dangerously close to it to try to maybe kill him, is it worth it? And that's the question you have to ask yourself, is it worth doing this right now? And it's kind of, it's kind of hard, it's kind of annoying to keep that in mind all the time, because I know myself even... A lot of the time, I just want to kill the guy. I don't care. Like, even if it means I'm going to crash the Hydra or whatever plane that I'm flying, I don't care. I just want to kill the guy. But sometimes you have to think about the bigger picture. Like, if you crash the plane and you kill him, you're going to respawn on the ground. And if he's got, like, a Kanjali or something like that, and he's just going to farm you and spawn kill you, you obviously do not want that. So you have to think about that. You have to think about what your opponent can do to you if you crash your plane. So... 
with the Hydra, I'm going to make good use of hover mode here. I'm going to come in nice and close. Obviously, if this was a player, I would kind of avoid doing this because, I mean, minigun, RPG, you know, all that, like I said, sniper rifle even would be pretty deadly from this angle. Um, somebody could really mess you up with one of those. So there we go. Managed to get him, and then I'm going to get right out of the area. Just like I told you guys in the first part there, as soon as you kill your target, you want to get out of there. You want to dip. You want to gain altitude. Get out of the way. Make yourself less of a target. Obviously, when you're in downtown, you need to be really careful. If there's a car weaving in and out of buildings, you need to be patient. You need to wait until they're in a spot where you can kill them. You can't always go in for the kill all the time. Um, similar to the situation that I just showed you guys where there's the car on the highway right here and I dive bombed them and I was going towards the hill. It makes it a lot harder to pull up if there's a very tall object in front of you. Like say, I, say I'm going like this, right? I'm shooting at someone in there. Now I have to pull up and I have to make sure I miss the mountain. So you got to know when to go for the kill. In the same situation, if there's a guy on the highway there, it would be infinitely better for me to go in from this angle. Because say they're right at the end of the intersection there, can just bomb them and then pull up and then there's nothing I, I have to hit, right? There's some trees there, but I can easily avoid those. But if there's a massive hill there, it's going to be a lot harder for me to avoid it. I think that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this helped you out. I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something. Just to reiterate, I'm going to go over the three main points here. Maintain a high altitude. Understand risk and reward in certain situations. And know when to go for the kill and when to be patient. It's been Harm None, boys. If this helped you out, leave a like. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.